Today's vlog a little bit inspired by one of the guys that we met yesterday at Bad Chai Mas. Emporium Mall, Texas Mall. Oh yeah. And Fortress Floor Stadium. Fortress, yes. Okay. That's awesome, yeah. Nice. Yeah, we're definitely gonna go. Thank you. Basically, we were talking to some local people in Bad Chai Mas. We were taking some photos and I asked one of the guys, Hey, where should we go and see and what should we do? So after checking out his suggestions, we saw that one of his suggestions, the package is small, actually had over 56,000 reviews. That many? That many. And had like a four point something rating and a mall that has that many reviews, we're like, okay, we have to check that out. We saw that Lahore actually has a very modern side as well. So we thought instead of just seeing the old town, we would explore the modern area a little bit as well. Today we're going to go to the Goldberg area and to package is mall and we're going to see what it's all about. The modern Pakistan. And shopping. And shopping, of course. That was that was the main thing that we're gonna go shopping. And food. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We just made it to our Kareem and now we're on our way to Packages Mall. We'll see you there. do not allow us to film with our camera so we're on our phone so we hope you can hear us the vibe here compared to like the old uh, walled city that we were it was so different it was so busy there all the honking and then you come in here and it is quiet like i feel like there's nobody here i know we came here first thing in the morning like when it just opened up so i assume it might be a little bit busier on the weekends or like later in the day but uh yeah so far so good we're gonna explore see all that this mall has to offer but first let's go get some coffee I can't believe how big this place is. They got everything here. I can see a lot of like uh, local stores from what I assume is I don't know the brands, but also a lot of like international brands like uh, Nike, Mango, Levi's, McDonald's, KFC, Pizza Hut, Baskin Robbins. So yeah, like I think they've got everything you need here. We're at this place called Gloria Jeans and we're having this delicious iced coffee. It's really, really good. I think it's probably the best iced coffee we've had so far over here. If I'm not mistaken, Gloria Jeans is also quite an international brand because it sounds kind of familiar. I don't know where I've seen it before, but I have a feeling that I have seen it before. And now we're just going to finish our coffee and then we're going to do some shopping. Because honestly, I think I've been severely underdressed. I see what all these women have been wearing here. These like beautiful, I think they're called cortas. I think so like, too prints and embroidery and here I'm walking around in like just basic black H&M dress that I bought just so I had something on arrival. So yes, let's go to that. So of course, I just lost Odette in that shop right there. And uh, she's going shopping now. This mall is absolutely massive. It's really cool to see like the modern side. It, it always is any, any place we go, we try to show both sides and show as much as we can. Cause sometimes there are certain countries that they have a certain perception that like you just think of them as a certain way. But you know, when you go and travel there, Normally from what you think and what you see on the media is not exactly the same. So it's uh, it's really important for You to go and see everything when you travel somewhere. All right So today's plan is to actually go shopping a little bit and uh, Get something new or that wanted to get some new clothing and uh, yeah, so I'll be following with it for the next little while I'm gonna try to film as much as I can because security is a little bit tight here um, They weren't letting us film but uh, I'll try my best to show you as much as I can 
I just made my first purchase at a shop called Hadi or Hadi, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I bought a kurta and some pants, which already look a lot better than what I'm wearing right now. Plus it is so much like better fabric as it is a lot thinner. Right now it's just too hot. Um, I'm very excited to wear this and I'm sure you'll see it in the next vlog. I paid a total of I paid 4,600 rupees, which I think is about 23 euros. So I think it's like a great price, and I even bought this cute little wallet. Love it. Right now it's about 125. I'm not 100% sure what's happening. Uh, all the stores are closing, so maybe somebody in the comments tell us what's going on because these stores are all closing behind us and they're all moving to the food court. I don't know if it's prayer time or lunch everybody time. takes lunch together. I don't know. Somebody let us know in the comments. I'm actually curious. So we just came to the Goldberg area. We took a quick Kareem and we've heard that the Goldberg area is like one of the most modern areas of Lahore. I've heard this is the area where you'll find all the fancy restaurants, the fashion boutique shops, and of course like all the Western brands. So basically everything we just saw in the mall, but like outside. So we're kind of curious to see what this is all about. So we thought we'd do a little bit more shopping and see if we can find some dinner later. loves this store so much that we're back in the same store but in a different location so but and getting more clothes again <laughs> is this your new favorite Pakistani store yes it is yes it is okay I thought so too <laughs> so I think we've been walking on this road for about like five minutes and so far we saw like tons of fashion shops including Western brands like Emporio Mani, Polo Red Lauren we also saw some Western restaurants like IHOP, Subway, Pizza Hut but I think they're still like building a lot in this area too because right on the side of me here they're still doing construction and from what we looked around it's like three quarters of the road is built and about 25% is being built. So I'm very curious to see what this road looks like in a couple of years. just did some shopping, we went to some stores called Beach Tree, Ethnic, I think Hadi again, and a store called Jay. I unfortunately did not find anything else that fit me or I like that much. Um, the main issue that I'm having is that the colors here are very bright, which is beautiful, but it doesn't really work that well to my skin tone, unfortunately. So we just came to a restaurant named Howdy, which is like this cowboy themed restaurant, and we just ordered a burger and I think some cream made chicken steak so uh, yeah we're just gonna wait for our food and uh, see what it's like when we just arrived it actually is very quiet here but I think it's just after lunch hour so it seems that more and more people are uh, rolling in we ordered a burger which I believe is called the son of a gun burger which came with a nice side of crispy fries and we ordered a Texan chicken steak which is like chicken in a creamy mushroom sauce on top of some pasta with a side of some vegetables and some mashed potatoes and it looks absolutely Absolutely phenomenal. First thing we're gonna try is the son of a bun burger. Oh, look at this. That is cheesy. Okay, let's see if I can eat this in a charming way. Oh, that's really good. That's so juicy. There's so much cheese on there. The bun is so soft, it's really, really good. It's a creamy chicken mushroom milk, creamy mushroom chicken steak, and dip it in some sauce. Mm. Oh wow, that chicken is so tender, and that sauce is so creamy. It's like the perfect balance of like the creaminess, saltiness, a little bit of pepper with those mushrooms. Oh, that's delicious. We just finished our lunch at Howdy's, and it was 
incredible. The especially the creamy mushroom chicken with the pasta was delicious. I would definitely come back here again. If I'm not mistaken, they are a chain restaurant because I think I saw a Howdy's in the mall, but we'll have to check that at home. Now we're quite full and we're quite done with exploring for the day. We've done enough shopping and we thought we'd just quickly grab some dessert to go and then we'll show you around our hotel. bag of goodies and things that order like some layered cake in a cup and some cupcakes. Now it's gonna wear a cream and then we'll show you around the time. guys we just made it to the hotel sorry about my voice I'm actually not sick I got a little bit of uh, hay fever so my nose has been running that's why you've been seeing Odette's face which probably you prefer anyways we're staying at the Grand Luxus Hotel It's one of the best hotels that are here in Lahore uh, the staff are extremely friendly uh, we're having a great time here and this is the front of the hotel we come in through the hotel at the beginning there's a gate and usually there's security up up front and afterwards you walk right inside which Odette is waiting for me at the lobby. So let's go and show you the rest of the hotel. When you walk through the lobby, they got this beautiful lobby here. And they got, this is where we eat breakfast, which you saw in the previous vlogs, and your check-in counter when you come inside. It's really well designed. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go show you where the gym is and where the swimming pools are. So right now, the reason I decided to do this is because Odette's got a bag of goodies. She's forgotten about everything. <laughs> She just wants cakes. I'm so excited. It says little bit, little bag of magic. So, yes. Bibbidi -bobbidi. <laughs> hey, when you come to the third floor, they got this beautiful pool in here where you can come and just enjoy. As you can see, there's not a lot of people here. Sometimes in the afternoon, there's a lot of people here. But uh, yeah, it's a very nice pool, deep enough if you have kids. Um, it's actually really nice. And the other thing I'm going to show you, they got a pool table here. So if you don't want to swim, you can come and use the pool table and last but not least my favorite and this is the gym they got really nice equipment here enough they got some free weights they got some bench presses and you definitely have some mats and um, yeah it's a nice little quiet area where you can come and work out that's really all you need if you're into walking on the treadmill or the elliptical and now we're gonna go upstairs and show you our room they got really nice design here on the walls and uh, welcome to Sukasa. Mikasa? Sukasa. Mikasa Sukasa's Sukasa. Sukasa is your house. Mikasa. Mikasa is my house. Okay, whatever she said. This is our room. Welcome to our room. <laughs> yeah, that was Odette's idea. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it's all your idea. No, okay, all jokes aside. So welcome to our room in the Luxus Grand Hotel. We've been here for I think over a week now and I've absolutely loved our stay here. Our room is very spacious and very nice and I'm going to show you. On this side we have our washroom which basically has all the basics, everything you need. We have a nice big shower, a sink with a lot of counter space where we can put all our stuff and a toilet. So yeah, everything we need. And then on this side we have plenty of closet space where we can put all our stuff and a little coffee station plus a little fridge so we can have some nice cold water. So one of our favorite things about this room so far has actually been our bed. It is massive, very comfortable in stuffs, and we've both got two pillows, so super comfortable. And on this side we have a giant mirror where you can admire all your outfits that you're gonna wear that day. And we have a little desk, which is great as we work online so we can work a little bit or you can, of course, eat all your cakes. Highly recommend staying at the Luxus Grand especially the staff has been very kind welcoming and helpful so that has been great and the rooms are about 55 dollars a night so not too expensive and yeah 10 out of 10 would recommend
Unfortunately, we did not make as many videos here as planned as Rob's allergies acted up quite a bit, which is not the best combination with the heat and the dust outside. However, we are already planning our next visit to Lahore. So if you have any recommendations on what else we should see or what else we should do or eat, be sure to let us know in the comment section down below. In our next video, we'll actually be heading to Islamabad, which we've heard has a lot of modern sides to it. So we're very curious to see what Islamabad is like compared to Lahore. And also if you have any recommendations for what we should do over there, be sure to let us know. Oh, be sure to subscribe to join us on our next adventure.